So whenever you are triggered, let's say something is going on and you are just so pissed off, you're triggered. It is so crucial in that moment to choose your new identity because the universe is going to continue showing you things that are going to be a reflection of what your inner state. So everything is always a mirror. So let's say something happens. That's why, let me just say, that's why two people, me and someone else can be standing in the same room and something can happen and I can have a totally different response than someone else. If I have a trigger, if it bothers me, you know, I have an emotion I do not want to feel, it's because it's literally reflecting to me something that I need to heal. And the only reason, there's this like, quote or whatever that i heard that really shifted and it was you cannot perceive anything that isn't already in like res you're not resonating at so for example if i see someone and you can use this as both good and bad because if you see someone you're judging someone for something subconsciously you wouldn't even be that wouldn't even bother you you wouldn't even be able to perceive that if it wasn't a part of you you feel me and the flip side on that, the good on that is whenever you see the good in people, whenever you see the beauty in people, whenever you see the success in people, that's because that's a part of you too. So back to the triggers, you don't know what you don't know, right? You're not aware of what's going on in your subconscious mind. That's why it's in your subconscious mind. But the moment you are triggered, if you take full accountability for your emotions, and I know that's challenging, like I have to do the work too, and it is hard in the moment, but it gets easier because you're learning more and more that is just energy. You're learning more and more to not be attached to your emotional state or how you feel or you're not taking things personal. You're knowing that it's just old programmings, old limiting beliefs that you're attached, stories that you're attached to that, you know what, is not serving you. Because once you know it's not serving you, it's just holding you back, you can reprogram that. Once you shine light in those shadows, you're able to then transmute them. You're able to control them rather than to suppress them and ignore them. What you resist persists. It's going to continue being there. You know what I'm saying? So you have to literally, in the moment when you have those triggers, like literally be kind to yourself, be compassionate to yourself. Practice not being as judgmental towards others because... The less judgmental you are towards someone else, the less judgmental you are towards yourself. The more judgmental you are towards others, that's literally how you are towards yourself. It's all like one. And so in that moment when you're triggered and you're feeling something you don't want to feel, instead of literally projecting it out and be like, it's easier. You know, we're programmed, humans are programmed that it's easier to like blame a situation or a person and take accountability because it doesn't hurt. It doesn't cause like vulnerability or shame. It doesn't, you know what I'm saying? You can just blame that situation and that's how you're gonna go on in life, just blaming others, situations, people. But you're once you take accountability, you're going to then be like, okay, I'm triggered about this. Doesn't mean, let me just not be as judgmental. Let me feel what I feel. Cause you can't even like do that type of work with your ego involved because you don't know what you don't know so how i do it is i just feel whatever is going on in my body your body literally tells you messages and codes if you listen to your body literally you can have all the wisdom you need you don't you don't need anything else because you are created with source you are literally you have everything within you so listen to your body, allow yourself to feel whatever is without as much judgment, like not as much not judgment as possible, as accepting as possible. Don't think of good and bad because those are just programmings, right? Things that you've like learned to believe is good and bad. Of course, you know, as long as it's not hurting someone, right? But just feel it out and your brain is going to then start telling you stories because your emotions create thoughts thoughts create emotions so it's going to come up with stories right with image with maybe nagging voice like those that little voice inside your head that tells you things like you're not good enough or see this is why it's like this or all this and that your brain's going to start telling you stuff and you're going to be like you know what then it might actually blame the situation again but just be like 
take a deep breath and be like, you know what? These thoughts doesn't mean it's real. They're just programming. So just it's just my ego. It's just stories that I've held on to. Literally, it's just energy that I'm holding on to. So allow it to be heard. It's going to feel intense, but I promise you it's going to get less and less intense every single time until you no longer feel triggered for that situation. And you're no longer going to feel like things are personal. You're going to know that everything is just a mirror and people sometimes just project things to you. And you're going to be a neutral. But the key about that is when you do that, you raise your vibration. When you do that, you shine light in those shadows and you're able to then reprogram your subconscious mind because these are all things that are in your subconscious mind that you're now aware of. Because you're, you literally are in reactive mode 95% of your day, like 95% of the day. And the same thoughts, like I think it's like seven, you have 60,000 thoughts or something like that a day. And like a big chunk of them, like I don't know if it's 80% or 70% or something like that, are the same thoughts you had yesterday because it's habitual so you're literally just acting the same every single day reacting to things every single day but if you just take a pause and become aware of what your thoughts are but also your triggers you're going to be able to shine some light in your subconscious mind and the autopilot and if you can then from there release it and reprogram that then you have more control of your life you can kind of have hold on the steering wheel and you have a choice where you want your energy to go you know what i'm saying because that's all energy you're holding on to and if you can then reprogram that to kind of go towards your manifestation your desire you're going to be able to gravitate that much faster you're going to be at a higher vibrational state because you're no longer holding on to these limiting beliefs these negative thoughts because that's why you're getting triggered to begin with because it triggered something that you are holding on to that is validating something so hopefully this was not as challenging or it was, it was as it was easy to understand because i know sometimes it can be a challenge but moral of the whole thing short like short points is be kind to yourself listen to your body and become aware of your body and your habitual thoughts and don't listen to those nasty thoughts reprogram your mind and be persistent on like affirming affirming is just replacing your old thoughts with your new empowering thoughts affirm 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 your new belief i know it's challenging but the more you affirm it the more you're kind of ingraining in your subconscious mind and once you're able to do that and reprogram your subconscious mind, you're able to then manifest much faster and it's going to be reflected out. You know what I'm saying? So you deserve the world. You're the best. You're all the good feelings. You are bliss. You are abundance. You are love at your core. No one can take that away from you. It's just things that you're holding on to, stories that you need to let go of because those are the things that block you. That's why sometimes you might want something really bad but also like it's a challenge to get it even though you may believe that you're doing everything in your power to get it you know what i'm saying or maybe you get hot and cold behavior that's maybe why so hopefully this helped and i'll talk to you guys later bye